Hi, what's up guys? In this second tutorial, as we mentioned before, we will work more on some new features that we will add to our Essential Graphics panel, like the color, the slider to control the opacity. So uh, as a result, we will get our lower third with a lot of controls. So let's go forward. We'll start on a new project. After Effect project, we'll right click new composition. We'll rename it lower third. 10 seconds is okay, whatever the duration. Uh, right click, new solid. Okay, whatever the color. Because after that, we'll change all of these colors. So we'll move a little bit forward, like 10 frames, and we'll hit P to create a keyframe in the position, S to create a keyframe and a scale. U to get back both keys and go to the first frames. Here we unlock this one and put zero here. In the position, we'll move it down. Hit N to limit the preview region. And preview, yeah, looks nice. Just one more thing, like you can select the both second keys, shift F9 so you'll give it an ease for that okay it looks nice now we'll create the second layer like the second background for our text so for that we'll duplicate our layer we'll hide the first one and we'll move a little bit delay it a little bit because this, as the second text will appear after the first text and we'll change a little bit something like and the second key will move it down the first position key will move it up so after revealing our first layer we'll get this result okay let's change the color for the second one so to do that we can do like layer solid setting and change it for now for example, choose this color, new, okay, preview it again. Yeah, it looks nice. As I said before, whatever the color we'll be using here because we will add a fill effect. So for that, we can manage after that the color on Adobe Premiere. Okay, nice. Now we can add like a little bit of shading for that. So to do that, we can add new adjustment layer and we'll zoom a little bit. Yeah, I'm so sorry because I'm working on the screen. So, uh, on this adjustment layer, we'll add an effect like color correction, exposure, minus one. Okay, and we'll limit the shading on the, on the intersection of the two layers. Okay. Let's try to preview it out. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay. Guys, let's be careful here. Because now we'll add the color feature. So we'll select this the first layer and right click on the effect or you can get generate fill or you can get it from here. Just effects and preset fill and double click it will add a fill effect here same thing for the second layer and now hit e on the keyboard get the fill effect as the feature you will change is the color just click on color and drag it on your essential graphics window you will have like a color picker here that's for the first we'll rename it like main title B G like for background color same thing for the second layer hit E to reveal the fill effect options and click on color drag it here too it will be okay subtitle
subtitle BG background color. Okay. And Ctrl A to select all, U to close the layers. We can decide, for example, from now what kind of color we use. For example, here I will use like with orange color, the second one will be white. And you can preview. Okay. After this one, we can add like a null object and we can link all the layer to our null object. I did that to be easy because I have keyframes. So like that I can move the null object and all the linked layer they will move together. This is our lower third background. Now the only thing that I have to add is the text. So. I can right click new text and I will write my text here I'll write main title V after that to move it I can resize it here and just I can double click and check on the paragraph okay it's left aligned text so it's left aligned so no problem for that second thing i have to control d duplicate the layer so this one i will rename it subtitle okay and the first one by the way remain rename it main title Okay, and now I have to move, I can use the arrows to move it down. Okay, I'll change the scale later, but for now I have to give it a fill color. I can use the same thing like uh, the text and the fill colors here, but let's make it easier a little bit. I can just right click here and I can find the, the latest effect that I used is the fill can use it so fill color here for this one since now I use like white color and this one to fill color for this one I'll use the, for example the orange color okay I will resize it move it up a little bit okay 